Welcome to Brother Be Well. I'm your host, Justin Martinez, and this is the BBW Youth Chat Series. Today, we will be talking about how to magnify our weaknesses. Joining me on this discussion is Associate Marriage and Family Therapist from HearYou.org, Malik Sampson. Our Brother Be Well Clinical Advisor, Patrick Ma and our youth guests, Devante Springer and Shamar Knox. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. How is it going? Great. Doing great. Everyone doing good? Right on, right on. Thanks, I'm good. Look, I, appreciate, I appreciate you guys being here. You know, I can't wait to talk about this topic. It's uh, really exciting for me. I love talking about things I'm not good at so I can always get better. And I wanna dive right into this topic, how to magnify our weaknesses. And I realized that one of the most popular interview questions that I've been asked is, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? I wanna ask you, uh, how do you answer that question? What are some of your weaknesses? The floor is open. Jump in when you want to. I know my weaknesses has always been like kind of changing my routine. When I get when I get stuck to a routine, like when I the transition from middle school to high school was really big for me because mm. I had to transition from different classrooms and I had to wake up earlier for zero period, which was like five in the morning, and mm. that did not work out for me. So I had to learn how to. I had to learn how to figure out how to adapt to that. And to be honest, I still haven't fully adapted. The only thing that's helped me is doing everything online. All right. Maybe getting to bed a little bit earlier. That's something I'm practicing too. There's some other thoughts and insights. I think one of my weakness is actually cutting my uh, attention stream because when I'm focused on something, I become really hyper-focused onto that you know, projects or something that I have to do. And you know, sometimes you got to prioritize all the tasks. And I have a tough time breaking away from what I've been focusing on to switch to a different task. So I'm working on it. Absolutely, Patrick. I didn't think that could actually uh, uh, be a weakness, but I noticed that in my life too. Mm -hmm. Devante, what do you think, man? Yeah, so I will probably say two things. Uh, one, one thing is is uh, self-doubt, I think, uh, because I've, I've come to know, like, whatever I really want to, like, uh, um, my boy Patrick touched on, whatever, you know, whatever I focus on, that's what, you know, I can make, I can manifest. So me kind of, I'm being my own biggest critic at times. So um, just, I need to cut back a little more and start, you know, believing in myself a little bit more and uh, just remembering, like, you know, one life, I got to accomplish what I got to accomplish, you know, so, yeah, for right. sure. No, absolutely, man. I think uh, at times uh, we've all kind of shared some self-doubt, uh, you know, and, and it's definitely something that we could get through and that we struggle with. Um, but it actually, it brings me to a really good point that I want to talk to you guys about as well, you know, we talked about our, our weaknesses and why do you think it's so important for us to look into our weaknesses and uh, identify what they are? You know, what what do you think? Why do you think that's so important? Well, knowing what it is, you can, you know, go at it here first. And, you know, being aware, you can start, you know, educating yourself on how to overcome this you know, and how to capitalize on this and what type of factors uh, contribute to you, you know, uh, contribute to this. So I think just it, it creates more awareness and gives you a little bit more time to prep and, um, you know, kind of overcome the obstacle. Right. Absolutely. Any other thoughts? Why it's important to identify your weaknesses? Why is it important? You can't learn from those weaknesses. You can't. It's like it's like Devante said. You can't. I would say you can't overcome those weaknesses without having them. I would say 
anybody who says that they don't have a weakness is a hypocrite because everybody should have a weakness because they're not going to learn. They're not going to learn from any of their experiences that they're going through. Mm. So we're constantly growing and developing off of our weaknesses. You know, we, we know what we're strong at. I'm sure we're all told that we're, what we're strong. People will get feedback. Hey, you're really, you're really good at that. You're really strong at that. But we don't look too much into what we're not good at. And that's how we grow more. Patrick, would you agree with what I'm saying? I totally agree. And, you know, it's actually touch back on a couple of sessions that we have done in the past, you know, and the idea of light and dark, you know, weakness and strength are very much in the same continuum. So if you only see the strength in yourself and don't acknowledge your weakness, um, you are doomed to fail one way or another. Um, so I think, you know, Devante and Shamar already talked about it greatly and I think very articulately, um, you have to know your weakness and sometimes we can turn the weaknesses into strength. Just like Justin was mentioning earlier, he didn't think that being hyper-focused into something could be a weakness. You could totally, yes. if you focus on cleaning the house because the house is dirty, but you need to do your homework, is that a strength or a weakness? You know, is it taking away from prioritizing your task, which is another session that we have done in the past, prioritizing your task and how right. to focus and be in the present. So I think, you know, our youth has um, brought up some great points and I'm excited to hear what's, what else are they thinking? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, well, I feel like we're, always, we're all often advised on, oh, you know, do what you're good at, do what you're strong at, go with that. But we, we hardly look into what we're not so good at. So I feel like that's where the most growth comes from. In my journey uh, as a college student, the first in my family to do so, I had to jump into that adversity constantly, overcoming something that I'm weak at, reading, writing, uh, studying. You know, like Patrick said, I'd be the one cleaning my room and not doing my homework, you know, and then that catches up to you and like, oh, man, these grades are slipping. That's something I'm weak at. I got to start looking into that and getting stronger. So that leads me into my next uh, question I have for you guys is how can we also learn to improve upon our weaknesses from a self-development standpoint? And I'll just touch on this a little bit because I know Shamar talked about uh, he struggles getting up early, you know, and I've done that for a long time too. I set my alarm and my alarm goes off at 545. There's a lot of the days where I snooze it. But on days when I get up early, I feel like I get more done. Like I can get my exercise done in the morning. I can get a meal in before my meeting starts. And then I go into my meetings and I'm on with my day. And it just, it really feels more productive 